Hey everyone, Corey here from the Techies, and today we're going to be talking about bitrate in video and in particular Sony Vegas. So this is not a Sony Vegas thing, this is a video editing, video production concept. I'm just using Sony Vegas because that's my go-to editor. So I was playing around with project settings a little bit and I got a little bit more into depth with playing around with the render settings. So if you don't know, in Sony Vegas, well, it's not Sony Vegas anymore, it's actually Magix. So they call it Magic, they call it Vegas Pro. So in Vegas Pro 14, there's some options with Smart Zoom and Smart Upscale, which means you can scale a 1080p video up to 4K. And so I was playing around trying to figure out how to best render 4K video, and I ran into some interesting concepts. So hopefully somewhere in this video I've put in like a side-by-side -side of the two different kinds of bit rates. So if you go to File Properties, this is where you're going to find uh, your basic settings for the overall project. So if you're going to render in 4K, make sure your template is set to 4K. In, in Vegas Pro 14, there's a preset for 4K but in 13 and below, I do not think there's a preset for 14. So if it's not there, all you'd have to do is change these settings to the settings you see here. It's 40, 4096 by 2304, frame rates, whatever you have, member to match your frame rate to your source media. Basically, you want to always try to match the project settings to your source media. And the same thing when you render to get the most lossless uh, high quality video you can. So match those settings and go ahead and hit OK, OK or apply and when you're ready to render so if you go to file render and in this case uh, WMV is not the thing to use. MP4 AVC slash AAC is a r pretty good I think in my opinion it has the best um, encoding to produce 1080p video and above so what I'm going to do is there's not a 4K option, so I'm going to just go in and I'm going to customize. So you have all these options here. Obviously, you have the frame size. Again, match the project settings. You have your profile, frame rate, um, the field order, you know, progressive scans, fine, pixel ratio. And then you get here to constant bit rate, variable bit rate, and then you have the two pass option, and you have all these options. So basically what this is, is there's two different types of bit rates. So you have constant and variable. So obviously constant bit rate means this, this bit rate is going to be constant throughout the video. So bit rate applies to the number of bits that's used to represent a frame. And so if it's constant, that means you'll always have, you know, 50 million bits per frame, or you'll always have six, 768,000 bits per frame. Where variable bitrate will mean you'll have some frames that have 50 million bits and you'll have some frames that have, you know, 20 million bits, but you'll have an average of 40 million bits. And so, given that there are two different options to use when determining your bitrate, there's never really a clear-cut option of what to use. Most people will use variable bitrate just because if you render a video in, let's say, 6 megabits in constant and 6 megabits in variable, a lot of times you'll see that variable bitrate 6 megabits will be higher quality and it will look better than the constant bitrate. That's because with variable bitrate it will allocate, sometimes the frame will have 9 megabits of data and sometimes it will have 3. So basically by choosing this you're saying you know the frames that need to have the higher bitrate or the higher number of bits on the screen will have them whereas you know a black screen might not need as many bits. And with constant, every frame is going to be the same, so the frames that need more bits will not have them because it'll be a constant bit rate. And so basically that's, that's all this is. Um, I would say choose variable and with two pass because you get a lot more flexibility and it just does a lot better job of actually giving the frames that need the bits the correct number of bits. Yeah, guys, thank you for watching. This has been Corey from the Techies.